finding all possible balanced binary trees. So find all possible balanced binary trees for a given number of nodes. So that is the topic here. We shall have to develop one procedure. The name of the procedure let it be balanced underscore tree which takes two arguments which finds all possible balanced binary trees for given n number of nodes. So if we issue this respective goal and where 4 is the value for n and x is the written in capital letter that means it is a variable then with 4 number of nodes we can have this 4 distinct balanced binary trees. So those balanced binary trees will get output will be output of this respective goal and if we pass this 7 then there is only one possible balanced binary tree with the value of 7 here. So that is why this balanced binary tree will produce this output like this. So this output is corresponding to this one. Let me explain one of them. So here we are having this x as a root. So this x is being denoted this one and it is having x nil nil that means x is the root left child and right child is absent. Then we are having t x nil that means here we are having this x and t x nil means the left child is nil and the right child is also having x nil nil. So x is the lift node. So its left child and right child will be nil in that case. So this is the respective representation of this tree and rest tree are for the rest tree representations. So let us go for one practical demonstration where we shall show you that how to write such prolog programs which will implement this problem. So here is the demonstration for you. So in this program we have shown you that how to get all possible height balance trees for a given value of number of nodes. So here my program has got compiled and loaded into the memory. So here we are executing this query that is balance tree is my predicate name and 4 is the number of nodes and t will be the respective output list. So here we are getting 4 different possible types of uh, height balance trees are there for n is equal to 4. So these are the 4 diagrams we have shown for n is equal to 4. So let me explain the first one. So here we are getting this one as x will be the root node. Yes, x is the root node here and it is having a left child which is the x and the it's, it is a leaf node. It is having no further children. So x is the left child and it is a leaf node. And it is a right child is there that is also x and its left child is nil and the right child is containing another leaf node that is our x. So in this way this is the other one and other three structures are actually depicting other three versions of the height balance tree when the n is equal to 4. So if we execute the same query but changing this value of n as 7 we know that we are going to form a tree like this. So it is having only one possible solution. So in the last uh, layer, I'll be having four nodes. In the next to the, that, we'll be having two nodes, and this is the root node. So we are having seven nodes are there. So for it, I'm going to get a single solution out of it. So I'm going to get a single solution in this way. Okay. Now let me discuss my program at first. So balance tree if value of n is equal to zero, that means we are getting a null tree there balance tree n so n is the number of nodes and we are getting this tree as output when x is a root node and l is a left subtree and r is a right subtree value of n must be greater, greater than 0 because value of n will be equal to 0 and for that we have already written one given rule so n 0 is equal to n minus 1 and n 1 is n 0 integer division by 2 and n 2 is equal to n 0 minus n 1 we are writing this one because we know that one node will be going for the root node. So remaining number of n0 number of nodes will be divided for the left subtree and the right subtree. Okay. The thing is that if n0 is even then obviously this n1 and n2 will have the same values. But if n0 is odd then we will be having uh, one value greater than or less than in between this n1 and n2. So now we will be calling the predicate distribute and which will form this n1 and n2 number of nodes are there and they will be going for this uh, left subtree number of nodes and right subtree number of nodes and here we are doing this shuffle that means here we are distributing this one as n1 n2 and here n2 n1 so that i can get all possible height balance tree for value of n 
given okay so here we are calling this balance string this particular clause we are calling recursively and where nl will produce a left subtree l which is there and this nr will produce nr number of nodes will be there in the right subtree and which is the which is output here so in this way we have written this code and we have executed this height balance tree this balance tree 7 comma t we are getting only one solution but balance tree 4 comma t we are getting this one as four different solutions are there in this way we have explained our code and we have executed the our code for the better understanding thanks for watching this